considering from my last video where uh, we found we used so to find uh, the sides uh, the given side or the unknown side which was marked as x let us look uh, going through the steps so as i discussed in the last video it's always good to go over these steps the first is to label the sides and angle so angle is generally referred as you can give any letter so i'm giving a letter this is a greek letter generally used in most of the books so you can give your own letters if you want to so that's an angle the next is you have to label the side so i'm not going to label this side because that we are not dealing with that side so this is always start with the hypotenuse because there is no doubt in hypotenuse okay, hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle now this is the angle under consideration this is the theta which is 17 degrees now this is the opposite that's not what we're dealing so this is the adjacent angle now if you want if adjacent is a difficult word for you you can remember a as the angle side the side with the angle okay whichever way you remember so you've got a and h okay again i have made a mistake here so this should be c a h okay c a h here yeah. okay so here you have to we have labeled the sides we have done that now you have to decide so toa so I have I'm dealing with a and H so I have to deal with car C a H now I want I want to find the adjacent side so I will cover the a so when you cover the a what is that you can see I can see C and H sitting together so they have to be multiplied to find a so a is C times H just like that and I have to substitute or apply. So again, let me go over. So you have to apply the formula correctly. Okay. And ultimately, C, which is calculate. LDAC, which are the steps of success, which is SOS. SOS is famously for save our souls. Okay. So this is X is equal to C stands for cos of the angle cos theta okay x is equal to let me write that cos theta times h so x is equal to cos what is theta 17 degrees times hypotenuse which is 4 so get the calculators out menu as i told you in the last video i have to do this every time by default it goes to radians so i have got cos 17 I can't see yeah that's right times 4 which is 3.83 because you're rounding up because your third decimal place is 5 so it will sec uh, round up the second decimal place which is 3.83 so my answer would be 3.x is 3.83 into dp or decimal places so this is your answer okay now again yeah i'll remove the veil now again you have to decide the same thing label the label the sides and angles so this is your angle theta so this is your this side so i'm not going to label the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse so and this is the angle under consideration so this is your opposite side so we'll label it o and this is the angle side or the adjacent side. So you've got A here. So now you have to decide the formula. So I've done the labeling. Now you decide the formula. So tell me which formula will I use or should I use? Okay, so we're using O and A. So we use TOA. We have done this. You have to use TOA. Okay. And then you want to find O. So the same thing, you cover that up. And then what is that you can see? You have to multiply T and A. So I will write O is T times A. And O I'll write one more step. O 
T stands for tan theta times A. Okay. Now, what is O? O is my X is equal to tan theta, which is tan 18. And how much is your A is 4. Okay, just like that. Get a calculator out. Menu 1. Degrees. So I've got 10, 18 times 5. And I would round it to two decimal places. So it is 2.599. So if you want to round it to two decimal places, you would write it as 2.60. Because 0 is important there. Because you're rounding it to two decimal places. So it is 2.60. This is in 2 dp. Okay. I'll continue this in the next video. Thank you.